All right, this video I'm going to show you how to find all the trig values for uh, 180 degrees. All right, so before we get started, let's look at this. We have theta. Here's a point, x, y, and if we plot this point, we go over x and up y. So the distance here would be x, the distance here would be y, and this is, we'll call that r. And we know that r squared, I'm sorry, well we could use r squared, but we know that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, that's by the Pythagorean theorem, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And then if you square root both sides, you get r equals this. Alright, so remember, <clears throat> here's our angle theta. So remember your properties. We have sine theta is y over r. Cosine theta is x over r tangent theta is y over x and then we also have cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. And remember cosecant is reciprocal of sine, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So for cosecant that would be r over y, secant would be r over x, and cotangent would be x, <clears throat> x over y. All right, so we want to find all the trig values of 180 degrees. All right, so let's, let's draw that out. So if I look at this, okay, if here's my initial side, okay, and if I rotate it, there's 180 degrees. Okay, this is 180. So what we'll do is we'll pick, let me get a different color, we'll pick a point here. Okay, and we will label this point. This could be the point uh, negative 1, 0. So we go over negative 1 and then the y coordinate would be 0. Now, as far as this goes, uh, the y value is going to be zero because we're not moving up or down. But the x coordinate, we're moving to the left because we got to get a point over here on 180 degrees. Well, the x value, we could call this point negative five zero. We could call it negative one half zero. It makes no difference what you label that x value as long as it's negative because we're on the left hand side, we're on the negative side. Okay, So it makes no difference what number you use, you're going to get the same answer. Okay, So it's just easiest to use negative 1. Okay, So we have, look what we have here, we have x and we have y. x is negative 1, y is 0. So let's find r. Well, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So r is the square root, well, negative 1 squared is 1, plus 0 is 1, and then the square root of 1 is 1. Alright, so now we have x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 0, and r is equal to 1. Okay. All right, so now let's find all the, tri all the trig values for 180 degrees. So I've got the sine of 180. Well, what's the sine? y over r. Okay, y, I'm sorry, y over r. So that's 0 over 1, which is 0. There's sine 180. 
cosine 180? Well, cosine is what? X over R. There's X, there's R, so that's negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. And then tangent 180? Well, tangent is what? Y over X. See, Y over X. So that's 0 over negative 1, which is 0. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at cosecant 180. Okay. Well, remember, cosecant is R over Y, or we could just take this and flip it. So that would be 1 over 0, which is what? undefined. Okay. Secant 180. <clears throat> okay, so the secant of 180, well, that's x over r, or we can just, just take the reciprocal of, I'm sorry, secant is r over x, or we can just take the reciprocal here, that would be 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1, and then tangent 1, I'm sorry, cotangent 180, well, we can just take the reciprocal of that. That's negative 1 over 0, which that is undefined also. All right, so there you have it. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.